G'day Gil. Uh, Rowan, Scotty. Gil. We're just here today to, um, to show you how the screw feeder system works. Basically, uh, uh, you're, you're requiring a, a screw feeder for assembly of electronic components, and this is probably the similar unit that you, you're probably going to want to look at. Because one of the specifications that you did mention to me was that you wanted an ergonomic arm. And this is an ergonomic arm, and it's actually preset to the desired weight by a high relieving regulator, preset high relieving regulator that you can adjust up and down. We have a screwdriver, which is a Euro screwdriver, and we have a blow feed tube attached. Now, the blow feed tube obviously provides the screw to the gun, and that comes via uh, the screw feed mechanism. Now, the screw feed mechanism is a Fuji Tech. It's a Japanese made brand and uh, the, the whole system is a turnkey system so it's designed to suit the particular screw. Now within the insides of this system you can see the, 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 the rotary bowl which is similar to uh, I, I suppose a uh, horizontal type bowl where it allows the uh, vibration of the screw to come down to the track. The track gets presented to the blow feed tube, blow feed tube comes down and blows the screw in. So that's basically the system in the structure. We do have a lot of variations on, on the uh, arm. It's fully adjustable as far as length and reach. It's uh, pneumatic. We have spring-loaded types the same, uh, very similar. And um, usually the screwdriver is good for a couple of million cycles, so you know, there's not too many problems about, um, about uh, wear, wearing parts and things like that. So yeah. And also, if you desire, if you want a handheld system, we do have a pistol tool with the same type of setup where the screw, uh, the screw gets blown into the tube. Uh, as we push down on that, the screw bit comes out. Uh, we have preset torque on the screwdriver that's adjustable. So if it's three to five or seven or whatever new meters you need, we take care of that by just adjusting the screwdriver. So that is the system as it works. And, uh, and we'll just give you a bit of an example of, um, you know, obviously not real neat as far as our cabling because it's just a demonstration, but uh, we'll give you a bit of a, um, a look at how the, the operation works. So all we do is push down on the component, the blow feeds the screw, screw. Um, another screw is dropped out of the track, and uh, it's a preset torque, so it'll shut off the tool when it reaches that preset torque. Now this screw um, is obviously designed for metal, so we're just going into wood, so you know, it's a slightly different uh, variation, but uh, we probably need to reuse those screws, so we'll, we'll take them back out and reuse them again, so just for demonstration purposes. But this whole system is um, available and as I say, many configurations according to your requirements, whether it's a longer reach, whether it's uh, uh, something deep that you need to penetrate into, whether it's a handheld system, but it's uh, all made in Japan and uh, very user friendly and not too many moving parts. It has all its own sensors inbuilt and you can have extra things like um, screw counting and things like that if that's what you desire. Electric tools rather than pneumatic, it's really up to you. So thanks Gil for your time and hopefully this helps you out in what you're looking for. Thank you. Thanks Gil.